Welcome to the Wichita Housing Authority Housing Choice Voucher Briefing Meeting. The Housing Choice Voucher Program is a federally funded program by the Housing and Urban Development HUD Department. We have prepared this video to help you get started on the process to receiving housing rental assistance. An eligibility process has been completed for you and you have been determined eligible to receive a voucher. The term of your voucher will be for 120 days as listed on your voucher enclosed in this packet. The next step to, is to issue you a voucher and inform you of how to look for housing. If you're in your packet are materials to assist you with the next steps and explain the program. There are resources to assist you in your housing search, such as GoSection8.com, ForRent.com, and Craigslist.com. If the landlord is not familiar with the HCV program, they can contact the WHA at 316-462-3700 to learn more about the program and ask questions. Once you find a unit that you are interested in renting, and the landlord agrees to participate in the HCV program, you will need to comp complete the request for tenancy approval packet with the landlord and return the packet to the WHA office located at 455 North Main, 10th floor, Wichita, Kansas 67202. If the RFTA packet is not turned in prior to the expiration date of your voucher, you will need to reapply through the wait list. Most landlords will charge an application fee and a deposit. The deposit can be up to one month's contract rent. These charges will be paid by you. The WHA does not assist with the application fee or deposit. Once the WHA receives the RFTA packet for the unit you are interested in renting, the housing specialist will determine if you, if you are qualified for the unit. The packet will be processed and given to the inspector. The WHA inspector will contact the landlord to schedule an initial inspection. The time on your voucher stops once an RFTA packet is turned into the housing authority. Only one packet can be processed at a time. If the unit does not pass the initial inspection, the landlord will be given a list of repairs to correct and then the landlord will contact the inspector for a re-inspection. If the landlord chooses not to complete the repairs or move forward with the HCB process, you must request another RFTA packet and the time on your voucher will start back up. Do not sign a lease with the landlord until the unit has passed inspection and your housing specialist has contacted you and the landlord for the next step. Once the unit passes inspection, the housing specialist will contact you and the landlord to gather a lease, agreement, and current income. The housing assistance payment contract is a legal document that is between the landlord and the housing authority. The housing specialist will prepare a contract for the landlord's signature and contact you with your portion of the rent. A copy of the signed HAP contract will be mailed to you and the landlord. After your lease up process is complete, it is your responsibility to contact your housing specialist with changes in your income and family composition within 14 days of the change. The Housing Choice Voucher outlines HUD rules and regulations for compliance in the Housing Choice Voucher program. Please read the voucher prior to signing to ensure you are familiar with the rules of the HCV program. In the voucher briefing reference guide, there is information on the WHA payment standard, the rent burden rule, utility allowance schedule, a bedroom subsidy graph, and how your gross adjusted income and rent is figured on a 30% scale. There is also information regarding housing discrimination, sexual harassment, family self-sufficiency program, portability, tenant landlord responsibilities, violence against women's act, informal hearings and reviews, side payments, the protect your family from lead in your home booklet, an enterprise income verification system, annual reexamination procedures, abatement, tips of finding a unit, and maps of the WHA jurisdictions. The HCV program jurisdiction for the Wichita Housing Authority are Harvey County, Butler County, and Sedgwick County. You are also provided a HUD booklet called A Good Place to Live. There is a packet of documents required requiring your signature. The forms are as follows. The voucher briefing checklist. By signing this document, you are certifying that you received the packet voucher briefing reference guide. The family summary form. Please complete each line for each person going to live in the HCV assisted unit. The declaration of Section 214 status. Complete for yourself and each family member in the HCV household. 
regarding citizenship status. If more than one status applies to family members, then a form for each status will need completed for those family members. The I Speak form. Check mark the language you speak, sign, and date the back page of this form. The Supplement to Application for Federally Assisted Housing. All applicants must complete the name, mailing address, telephone number, and sign in the box at the bottom of the page. For applicants that ought to include an additional contact person, please read the instructions and complete the optional contact person information. The Authorization to Release Information and Privacy Act Notice. Please read the Authorization Consent and Privacy Act Notice on the back page. Sign, date, and write your Social Security number on the second line. All adult members of the HCB household must sign this form. The Housing Choice Voucher Program Participant Responsibilities. Read each of the responsibilities and sign the date on the back of this form. All adult members of the HCV household must sign this form. The What You Should Know About EIV, read, sign, and date this form. The Debts Owed to Public Housing Agencies and Terminations, read, sign, and date this form. All household members 18 and over must sign this form. The Notification of Reasonable Accommodation, Read this form, place an initial next to the yes or no in the declaration box indicating if you require a reasonable accommodation or do not require reasonable accommodation. Sign and date at the bottom of the form. The Acknowledgement of Rights under the Violence Against Women Act. Please read the form, print your name on the left side of the form, sign your signature and date on the right side of the form. All household members 18 and over must sign this document. The Fraud Statement of Understanding. Read this form, initial next to each one of the Fraudulent Act statements, sign and date at the bottom of the form. Please read each form carefully, sign and date. The WHA and HUD requires the documents be signed by you and your family members 18 and over. You are also required to read and sign the voucher. You will need to sign your voucher, separate the white copy of the voucher from the yellow copy of the voucher. You will keep the original white copy of the voucher, mail the yellow copy of the voucher and the packet of the signed forms to the Wichita Housing Authority at 455 North Main, Wichita, Kansas 67202 to utilize your voucher for assistance on the HCV program. If we do not receive the signed forms and copy of the signed voucher by the list of due date attached to your housing choice voucher, we will assume that you are not interested in the program and withdraw your name from the wait list. If you have any questions regarding this video or your next steps in utilizing the Housing Choice Voucher Program, please email your questions to wha at wichita.gov or call 316-462-3700 and request to speak with your housing specialist.